What's up guys, my name is Joe. And honestly, 2020 has turned into such a crazy year. There's no doubt about it at this point. But I also saw a post saying, no, you know, maybe 2020 is the most important year of all. A year that makes us feel so uncomfortable that it requires change and change for the better. And that's the motto that I wanna to subscribe to. And we've decided to move into a slightly smaller and a little bit cheaper of an apartment, which is this one that I'm in right now. So we're in the same apartment complex. We're just in a different unit that is saving us a good amount of money on a monthly basis. And thanks to the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. I thought what better time than now to show you guys five easy ways to upgrade your apartment or home, specifically if it's on the smaller side and make it just feel and look better. Be a generally better place to live in. You don't need a lot of space to feel at home and feel comfortable and that's what I want to talk about today. Now, when people think of the Home Depot, they usually think of, you know, different tools, DIY materials, hammers, nails, stuff like that. But they've actually got a fantastic range of home decor, ranging from anything that you'd need for your living room to bedroom, home office, kitchen appliance. I mean, they've got it all listed in a very easy to view way right on their website. The Home Depot has exclusive brands and collections at the everyday low prices that you'd expect. There's literally something for everyone, depending on your budget and what you're looking for. It's been a breeze for me navigating their website and finding exactly what I need to upgrade my living space and just make it feel a little bit more like home. And I'll have all the Home Depot furniture and appliances that you see throughout this video linked down below. So the very first thing that every person can do to make their living space nicer is dealing with the clutter corner. I'm sure everyone has that corner or that area in their house where stuff just goes. You're like, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. It's going in the clutter corner, especially if we're talking about smaller living spaces or apartments. You don't know exactly what to do with it, but you also kind of need it at the same time. So it just lingers around. You know what I'm talking about. For me, that was all of my camera gear and equipment, tripods, light stuff like that. And also just a whole bunch of random hair products. This is basically how my gear has been stored for the past year or so. Um, and although, you know, it's all kind of in one place, it's definitely not pretty to look at and it just looks like clutter. An easy solution to this and what I've done personally is converting a bookshelf into an in-home storage unit. The reason why I like something like a bookshelf is because you can adjust the shelving space as needed. Because I have taller things like tripods and lights, I was able to allow enough space by installing shelves higher up to fill the needs of my clutter pile. It's a really easy customizable option that will fit your needs, whatever they may be, your clutter pile. Everyone's clutter pile is a little bit different. You rearrange those shelves however you need uh, and it's gonna work out really great. And as you can see, it just looks way better stored like this than how it was before. Second up and what is probably the most important tip on making a better visible difference is taking into consideration color and sizing of your general furniture. When Dinti and I first moved to LA, uh, it's the first time that I was purchasing furniture myself and for our family. And I was just looking for stuff that either looked really cool or comfortable or just like something that I was like, hey, that's nice. I want that in my house. But I wasn't really thinking about how it all ties in together from a color and size perspective. To make your living space feel bigger and more inviting, choose lighter colors like light grays, creams, whites, you know, the different variations of white to gray tones. These are all great options for smaller living spaces. You can see from our old living room, we had this massive gray couch and blue sofa. And although the gray couch was super comfortable, it just took up so much space and made our apartment feel crowded. Then you match that with our other sofa and we're feeling pretty crammed up in here. So I replaced both of those couches with this new set from the Home Depot. They were separate, but one is a love seat, one is a couch. And not only have we opted for the lighter color approach, which really makes our space feel a lot more lively and cozy, but the sizing makes much more sense for our space as well. It's absolutely possible to make a small space not feel crowded. And that's what these couches have helped accomplish for us. And if you need help for inspiration with your own place, the Home Depot has full collections room by room that you can take a look at right on the website and pick items from that to find the right vibe for your place. The lighter color scheme is the same thing that we apply to the bedroom, transforming our old bedroom room from a darker, more rustic look with side tables that to be honest, is just far too big for our bedroom to this, a much lighter, more vibrant aesthetic that really makes the place feel much more cozy. And I mean, we switched everything, the bed itself, the bedding, the side tables, the lamps, all of these were chosen from Home Depot to specifically lighten the room. And we pick sizes and colors that just make sense for our space. Even picking appropriately sized night tables. It's something as small of a detail as that can make the place look and feel bigger, even though the bedroom itself is actually technically small smaller than our last bedroom. Not by much, but by a little bit. Still though, the spacing feels and looks 
and, and it's just, it just makes much more sense. Number three, shoe storage. And I know for a lot of us guys, shoes can almost make its own clutter pile in itself. A shoe rack is such an easy and affordable way to make sure that you don't have tons of pairs scattered throughout your house. And personally, I like how it kind of acts like a display case as well. Now sure, maybe you don't have as many shoes as me, uh, I admit I have a problem, I'm working on it. But even if you don't have this many, you can buy racks that are shorter so they don't have to go like all the way up to your own height. And it's still gonna be a much better solution than just having your shoes kind of placed randomly throughout the house. And again, keeping to the lighter color scheme in mind, I opted for this light gray and white rack from the Home Depot, as opposed to the all black one that I used to have. I haven't really seen many lighter colored ones like this one that I have, so I like that the Home Depot had that option. Next up, I know this is gonna sound kind of random and out of place compared to what we've talked about so far, but just get ready because I'm going in a completely new direction with this one. And that's adding a pet to your family. <laughs> I know, kind of, kind of a weird idea or tip. Now I'm not condoning getting a living animal off of a whim or you know without thinking through it correctly but we've had pets now for a little over a year and in my experience it has added just such a fun home dynamic that really makes home feel more like a growing family and a fun place to be. It also teaches you valuable skills on keeping to a schedule and looking after something that's life fully relies on you. Kind of like a baby you know but I think this is an easier place to start. To me adding pets into the mix, adding pets into our family has been a definite home upgrade for sure even if it sounds kind of funny and finally let's talk kitchens where i'm at right now having a functional home shouldn't stop at just aesthetics home is where you have the opportunity to better your skills and your health that can make you a more desirable person to be around during quarantine i know quarantine sounds kind of old at this point but la is literally on the verge of going into another lockdown as we speak but during this time i've really taken cooking much more seriously than i ever have before and not only is cooking a great way to save money which is pretty relevant during this time as well but it can can actually be fun after you get through the infuriating phase of figuring out how stuff works. If you are, are, if you cook already, this isn't an issue. You know how things work. But if you're not much of a cook, then the main reason why people don't like it is because it's just so frustrating to start. But once you get that learning into it a little bit, you get past that initial learning curve, it becomes pretty fun. So with cooking meals and focusing on a more healthy diet, you know, healthy stuff here and there, I'm not full on health train, uh, but I, I'm trying to be mindful, let's just say. I wanna show you guys the perfect proportions for a green smoothie. And if you saw my green smoothie video, you already know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you real quick right here. First up, you of course need a blender. This one from the Home Depot is an absolute beast. I've been loving it ever since the second that we got it. And I'll have this link down below. And when it comes to proportions for your smoothie, here's a really easy way to understand it. For a couple glasses of your green smoothie, you're gonna need two cups of liquid, whether that's water, almond milk, oat milk, etc. Two cups of greens. And I like using baby spinach because it's super healthy without overpowering the taste with straight veg two to three cups of fruit and this could be literally any fruit that you like a little bit of sweetener if you want in my case i'm using agave and then roughly a tablespoon of immune boosters in my case chia seeds and then you top it off with ice to make it nice and cold and as long as you follow these proportions again it's two cups liquid water milk whatever two cups veg in my case green spinach two to three cups of fruit um, some kind of immune booster is optional but kind of nice and then some ice on top and a sweet bit of a sweetener if if you want that um, beautiful every single time you can mix and match whatever veg whatever fruit you want as long as uh, as long as you follow the proportions it's going to turn out great every time and with these five tips you'll be well on your way to a nicer looking and feeling home i'm honestly so much happier with the way that our place looks now compared to before even though it's a smaller space it feels more inviting it feels more homely thanks again to the home depot for sponsoring today's video anything that i mentioned anything i showed you guys in this video can be found in the links down below straight from the home depot website hope you guys learned something here uh, maybe you're moving for the first time maybe you're downsizing whatever it be you can make your place feel very nice thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time